Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series of machine learning. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about introduction to machine learning. Before understanding what is machine learning, let us see how do human beings make their decisions. For example, consider a doctor who diagnoses whether a patient is having dengue fever or not based on some symptoms like skin rash, fever, headache, cold cough, vomiting, etc. If only some of these symptoms are available for a patient, the doctor decides that the patient is not having dengue fever. But if majority of these symptoms are available for a patient, the doctor decides that the patient might have dengue fever. How does the doctor make these decisions? The doctor would have treated many patients in his past experience. So based on his experience, he analyzes the symptoms of the patients and then decides whether the patient is having fever or not. Thus, the human beings makes their decisions based on their past experiences. What are the semantics involved in this decision making? They are features and rules. Features are the symptoms and the rules are framed by the doctor based on his experience, which in turn decides the output. How do we outsource these features and rules to a machine? Here comes the role of expert systems. Based on the insights gathered from the doctor, the programmer frames the rules, which is in the form of if then statements and feeds it into the computer. So once the input is given to the machine, the machine decides whether the patient is having fever or not based on the rules framed. But expert systems are facing many challenges. A huge amount of data is there to process and some rules are not known and the complexity also increases as the amount of data increases. So instead of having the human being to frame the rules, what if we can use the machine to figure out the function if we provide the needed data and the parameters for that function. So here comes the role of machine learning. Consider for example that a company is hiring some employees. It gathers the information about the candidates like 10th marks, 12th marks, graduate details, etc. and gives it to the machine. Based on this information, the machine figure out its own function and processes this information and gives the output, whether the candidate has to be hired or not. So here we have y is equal to f of x1, comma x2. x1 and x2 are the inputs, f is the function, y is the output. This function maps the relationship that exists between the input and the output. So thus from this we can understand that like human beings, machines can also learn from the past data with the help of machine learning algorithms. Now let us see formally about what is machine learning. Arthur Samuel first used the term machine learning in the year 1959. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence which is the most popular technique for predicting the future or classifying the information which helps the people in making necessary decisions. Data is the core backbone of the machine learning algorithms. With the help of the historical data, we are able to create more data by training these machine learning algorithms. Machine learning combines computer science, mathematics and statistics. Statistics is essential for drawing inferences from the data. Mathematics is useful for developing machine learning models and computer science is used for implementing the algorithms. Why we need machine learning? Nowadays, we are witnessing a vast amount of data. In order to derive meaningful insights from these data, we need effective computational algorithms that churns the data and provides us with the useful results. Machine learning has become an essential part of modern industries like medicine, healthcare, manufacturing, banking, etc. It is utilized everywhere. The electronic devices we use, the applications that are part of our everyday life are all powered with machine learning algorithms. For example, Google is able to provide us with appropriate search results based on our browsing history. Netflix is capable of recommending the films or shows that we would want to watch based on our watch history. Now let us see how the machine learning works. We have six jars of machine learning namely data, task, model, loss function, learning algorithm and evaluation. 
let us see about these jars one by one jar 1 is data it is the information available in different formats like table text image video audio etc information is the key to solve any problem where do we get this data from if we are lucky we can get it for free if we are rich we have to buy it if we are smart we can create our own data set now we have the data what do we do with this data so here comes the role of jar2 that is task so we have to identify the task to be done on the data consider this facebook image where we have three images so if we consider this image we can do the face tagging and if we consider this image we can identify the action performed and if we consider this image we can identify the location so these are the tasks identified on this particular data available now we have data and identify the task next we have to model the task so that is the purpose of jar3 a model is a prediction of a relation between input data and the output data for example consider this function y equal to f of x where y is the output x is the input and f of x depicts the good relationship between them this relationship can be anything which starts from simple linear equation y equal to mx plus c to nth degree polynomial as mentioned here the mathematical equations that represents the probable relationship that exists between the input and output are called as models now we can use many equations to create a model so how do we know know which model is better so here comes the loss function the loss function helps us to determine the model which is closest to the true relation between the input and the output it can be expressed as mentioned here l is equal to summation of i equal to 1 to n y i minus f of x i whole square so this is called as mean square error so here l is the last value y is the true output and f of x is the output curated by the proposed model next we have to determine the parameters of the model so here we can use the learning algorithm so we can see that here we have the model f of x equal to ax1 square plus bx2 square plus cx3 square here x1 x2 x3 are inputs a b c are the parameters which has to be identified by the learning algorithm so our ultimate goal is to be uh, we have to minimize the loss function so finally we have to evaluate the system that is we have to quantify the performance of our system so here comes the role of jar6 among the different models implemented we have to find the best model so one of the ways to evaluate the model is by prediction accuracy accuracy is equal to correct number of predictions divided by total number of predictions precision and recall makes up the accuracy precision relates to the number of times the model gives the right output while recall relates to the number of times the model gives the wrong output the evaluation is always done on the test data instead of training data so thus we have seen about six jars in the machine learning now let us see the diagram which illustrates the concept of machine learning so we are having the training data using the data the machine learning algorithm is trained and we have the machine learning model after training when we give the new input data the based on the training the ml algorithm predicts the output if the output is satisfactory we have the successful model if it is not satisfactory again we have to train the ml algorithm so this is the continuous process now let us see the applications of machine learning we have vast number of applications namely image recognition automatic language translation medical diagnosis etc so thus we have seen about what is machine learning and why we need machine learning in this lecture thank you